It's Phil Thatch here and today I'm going to demonstrate focus shift shooting which is something that came out uh, Nikon introduced it on the D850 and they also have it on the Z7 and it, then it came out as well on the Z6 where I will demonstrate it for you now using my Z6. What we're going to work on is macro photography with focus stacking. Before my Z6 if I wanted to do a focus stack image I had to mount my camera on this rail and then I would take an exposure and crank this and take another exposure and crank this and it would actually move the camera itself. Uh, I wasn't, you wasn't uh, capable of moving the focus an exact amount, uh, but I could get pretty close with this focus rail. So as you can see here, with focus shift shooting, the camera actually makes a shot and adjusts the focus ever so slightly and then makes another shot and another shot. You can program as many shots as you'd like up to 300 and you can also uh, change the amount of focus distance between each shot. It's a really cool feature. I have a studio set up here on my kitchen table. This is a rose I got my girlfriend for Valentine's Day and here it is March the 3rd and it's still alive and kicking and even has some new growth on it. So uh, she's going to try to root that thing but in the meantime we're going to try to get a picture of it. There's a little bit of brown on it but not much. But uh, I've got it propped up here and I've got some light on it from the left. I've got a cell phone light on it from behind. I've got another cell phone light on it from a different angle in the front. So I've got lots of light on it. And I've got a, I've got a blue backdrop which will probably black out completely in the picture. But uh, let's shoot it. I'm shooting tonight with the Nikon 200 to 500 f5.6 which is not your typical macro lens but I think it might work. I have the FTZ adapter and my Nikon Z6 uh, all mounted on a tripod. I'm going to use 1 8th of a second f11 and ISO 100. I have the flower in focus pretty much using the closest point on the flower and what I'm going to do because the focus shifting goes I actually said this wrong in the original video, so I'm correcting it with a voiceover. The focus shifting starts close to you, and as it adjusts focus, it goes further and further away. So I adjusted the focus slightly closer to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so I'm going to start it focused right there. So after you push menu and go to the shooting menu, which has the icon of the camera, you can scroll through the menus, and the next to last thing on it is focus shift shooting. There's one more page that just has silent photography. So there's focus shift shooting. Uh, click OK. And I have uh, my number of shots. I've kind of done some trial and error with this and you'll need to do the same. I've got it set up to do nine shots which should cover the entire uh, flower front to back in focus. I got a, the focus width set at 10 uh, which that's a wide jump between each image but with this lens that works good i think with different lenses you might need much much different so just experiment and see what actually works i've set it for one second in between each shot uh first frame exposure lock is on i'm shooting completely manual so that doesn't matter and i have silent photography turned off because i'm using a fluorescent light uh if i was using like uh ambient light I'd probably turn silent photography on just to keep some clicks off my shutter or off of my uh, yeah off my shutter but with a fluorescent light you want to uh, not use silent photography because you might see some banding in your images uh, so once you get everything set go up to start where I am now and click OK It has made our images. So we'll take a look at these in the computer and see how they look now. Okay, here are the nine photos we just made in Lightroom. And uh, I did take these when, when they're imported into Lightroom, there's some noise reduction applied and there's some sharpening applied. I took all of that out. So these are all flat 
and I looked at them pretty good uh, before I started talking to you and really just number two, three, four, and five have in focus data. Remember we started a little bit back focused and uh, I let it do nine shots um, and we can take a look at them pretty big here. The first one doesn't really have anything that's fully in focus. The second one there's some information here and here that start to be in focus but still places like back here are not. Uh, that may be difficult to see on YouTube um, so you'll just have to take my word for it if you're not uh, on a pretty decent monitor and a pretty decent bandwidth connection. Second picture even sharper in focus here in this area back here which is kind of the furthest away part of the image is starting to get sharper and here's the next one sharper still and this is starting to go out of focus now so now you can see the benefit of focus, focus stacking. There's no one image that has the whole flower in focus. Here's the next one. Uh, that's pretty sharp right there, and this is way out of focus now. So let's see where we're at. Uh, and that is the last one that I'm going to use. The next one, pretty much, I don't know, there's some, let's see. No, that starts to that area, which in picture number five, is sharp right over here picture number six it starts to fall off so we're just going to use uh, number two three four and five and I've given those five stars I've already decided that that's the way we're going to go so we're going to enable filters and actually we're going to filter by rating five stars and that'll just leave those pictures so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight all four of them uh, I did that by holding shift and tagging the fourth picture and that highlights them all. And the rest of our work will happen in Photoshop. So we're going to click on photo, edit in, don't click on edit in Photoshop, click on edit as layers in Photoshop. And that will open up Photoshop and bring all four of these pictures into Photoshop. Okay, so now here we are in Photoshop, and here's our four uh, stacked images, or images that we're going to stack that we sent over from Lightroom. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to highlight all four of them. I've got the first one highlighted. I'm going to hold shift, click on the fourth one, and that will highlight them all. The first thing we're going to do is to align them, and to do that, we come over here at the top and click on Edit, and go down to Align Layers. We're going to do that automatic with vignette removal and uh, compensate for barrel pin cushion or fisheye distortion. I think we're going to leave that alone. We're just going to do vignette removal and we're going to say OK. And I don't have the fastest computer in the world and even though we're only doing four files here, it still takes my computer a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause the video and rejoin you when it's through process is complete. We have our four layers aligned. The next thing to do is to focus stack them. And that would be Photoshop edit, whoops, auto blend layers. That's how we focus stack the images. You can panorama or stack and stack is actually focus stack. So we're going to focus stack. We're going to click on seamless tones and colors and content aware fill on transparent areas and go. And once again my computer's slow so I will skip forward to when this is done and rejoin the video there instead of having you wait through all this mess. It has taken our four images and photo or focus stacked them. You can see these layer masks. Uh, you can see the first picture, the white areas in the layer mask over here on the side is what it let come through and the black areas is what it blocked. The second picture it let most of the flower come through. Uh, the third a little bit more and by the fourth picture just the back ring, the furthest part away, is what it let come through. So there it is. Focus stacked. And you know even though we were at F11 it still took four images to get the whole flower in focus. So that is what you do when you are focus stacking. The next thing we can do is go to layer 
and flatten and that will turn all that data into just one file and then we can save and that will save it as a TIFF file and it will go back into Lightroom and then you can do your um, your develop settings on it and you know edit the uh, image to taste but I'm just showing you how to use uh, the focus stacking feature that's built into the D850 and the Z7 and Z6 and then how to how to align and stack those images in Photoshop and Lightroom so after that you're on your own and do your own edit and however you like but that's how you do it and hey I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video if you liked it it'd be great if you took a moment and clicked subscribe and also click the thumbs up like button that helps me out as well and I really would appreciate it and I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye